what's going on guys it's your boy jesse d123 back with another video and in today's video we're going to show you guys how to claim three free cards that sds is just handing out to us guys so drop a like if you guys haven't already drop a sub if you guys haven't already either we're on the road to 2k man so i appreciate you guys if you drop that sub man shout out to all my new subs i appreciate you man so without further ado man drop a like if you guys haven't let's get right into the video so right here man so we have two diamonds two golds and one silver so if we do all these moments that i'm going to show you guys right now in a second we get to choose one of each um so it's paul de young ja hat for the diamonds we have nick madrigal and mickey moniak from the phillies and then we have rodel garcia and andrew knapp i think that's how you pronounce his name so i think this is the first time um they throw a silver in the top snap pack which is interesting so let's go take a look at the moments guys i'll show you guys i'll show you guys a card of stats right now after um, so I'll, we get 2,100 total stubs if we complete all these moments right here, which is pretty cool. Um, tally eight total bases. That's basically two home runs on veteran difficulty with Paul De Young. Now that could be a little difficult. Um, might take you a couple tries, but you guys can get it done. Hit one home run should be pretty simple. Excuse me. Uh, recreate this walk off easy. Um, playing with the Astros, recreate this comeback and win the game. Okay, this one might be a little time consuming, but um, you guys can get it done, especially because it's on rookie. Come on now um player lock would have finished what he started finishing off the game without giving up a hit okay pitch six outs do not give up a hit not too difficult but could be a little time consuming just because if the computer this year guys if you guys know <laughs> it could be a little b word that's all i'm gonna say because they could be getting some mickey mouse hits hitting with magic on a nice with two strikes win the game for those white Sox. okay and then obviously we have what the thumbnail is right here all eyes on tatis and bauer hit a home run on trevor bauer as locked in as tatis so that should be pretty easy, pretty fun. What if he did the celebration when he was rallying the bases? That would be interesting. Sadly, we don't get no Tatis in the tops now. That would be way too overpowered. Um, let's go look at the card, show you guys the stats, show you guys who I would recommend you guys going with. Um, tops now. Okay, Paul DeYoung. Damn, someone already has him by now? Jesus. All right, Paul DeYoung, the update just came out 20 minutes ago. Paul DeYoung, um, 94 contact against righties, 105 power against righties. So he's a righty killer. He's a shortstop. He plays first and second and third as secondaries. 63 contact against lefties, 77 power against lefties, which isn't too bad. 84 fielding, 70 arm, which will get the job done at shortstop, especially because it's 90 reaction. Yeah, for sure. I say um, out of the two diamonds, well, let's go through J.A. Happ first. So J.A. Happ has a four seam, a sinker, slider, changeup, and a curveball. His pitch speed differential isn't too crazy. That's why he has 61 velocity, 73 control, which isn't the best. 99 break, which should help him out a little bit. He has 70 strikeouts per nine and 89 hits per nine with 91 stamina. So don't worry about this guy. He'll get you through the deep end of the innings, the seventh, eighth inning, just because he has that 91 stamina. His per nine is pretty high, which is nice. Um, but like I said, his pitch speed differential is not the best. Personally, I go Paul to Young over J.A. Happ, but like I said, it, it's to your guys' needs. If you guys need a starting pitcher, a lefty, go, go J.A. Happ. But if you guys need a shortstop, go my boy Paul DeYoung. Now let's go take a look at the two goals. So we have Nick Madrigal, which honestly I say stay away from him. He has no power. He's a contact killer. Um, he has 66 speed, which isn't the best. 70 fielding, 79 arm, 72 reaction. So yeah, you're probably not gonna be using this card. Just specifically get this card for the collection. Um, and the other goal player is Mickey Moniak. Now he's the better of the two. Um, he has 83 contact against righty, 76 power against righty, 62 contact against lefty, 55 power against lefties, 84 fielding with 74 reaction in center field, secondaries at left and right. Honestly, these two goal cards aren't the best. You're probably never going to use them unless you guys are trying to do a, trying to build a squad around them. I don't know why you would do that, but you guys could do that. And then the three silvers we have right here, Robel Garcia, Andrew Knapp, and Kyle. Is it Kyle? No, just these two. Just these two. Ignore Kyle. Sorry. So we have Andrew um let's see i'm not even gonna go over the stats because it doesn't really matter who you take right here just honestly if, if you're an astros fan take him if you're a phillies fan take him that's probably the best advice i can give you if you're not a fan of either just close your eyes and choose one of them. <laughs> plain and simple it doesn't really matter um you're gonna need them for collections later on in the future you guys are probably not gonna use these cards now on a side note guys they did release a new headliner headliner is pudge rodriguez um they also released the space three pack which honestly i say is not worth it the space two i think was worth way more we get Joey Votto, Julio Rodriguez, and the Kavan Biggio in the rare rounds. Base rounds, we get Jim Edmonds, Grayson Rodriguez, Eddie Murray, Tom Hankey, and then this guy, Riley Green. So, honestly, don't think he's worth it unless you're trying to get these 
nice jerseys it might be worth it i don't know but personally stay away from the space three pack i don't think it's worth it finally guys we have the new roster update we have byron bucks is now a diamond trey turner is now a diamond now i'm not going to go through everything there's a big roster update mike trout's a 96 now which means his price skyrocketed that much more so good luck trying to pull him acuna is now a 92 um, who else? Who else got a big upgrade? Oh, Arenado got a knockdown, so he might, his price might go down a little bit. Tatis is at 89 now. Trevor Bowers at 88. Um, who else, man? Who else? I'm just trying to just go over this real quick. Um, I'm not gonna. If you guys want to see in-depth video, let me know. Corey Seager went down though. That's not good. I was thinking about buying him, but maybe not no more. Um, you guys can go through this yourself. But I just want to show you guys real quick. Just ooh, Corbin Burns. He's now gold. Okay, that's decent. Some people might have made some money if they bought a ton of them. And Jose Abreu is no longer a diamond, guys. And there's one more I want to show you guys. Matt Chapman. Matt Chapman is no longer a diamond either. So if you guys, there's no diamonds needed for the athletics now. So if you guys want to get Dennis Eckersley, you guys can do that. Just collect all the cards. Matt Chapman, I think he's going for like 5,000 stubs at most right now. So just wait for his price to drop. You guys will be able to get that Dennis Eckersley once you complete the whole athletics collection. And the last thing they added to Battle Royale, they added two new diamonds to the BR Flawless. And they all also added a new Roberto Clemente. Check this out, guys. Check this out. 93 All-Star Roberto Clemente super excited as this card gets more and more better cards because his card is going to be nasty once he gets a signature series or whatever he gets man 90 fielding 99 arm 84 reaction his hitting his freaking contact on both sides is amazing his power is better obviously than his 88 card and he's going for a crazy amount right now because obviously you got to get to 90 br wins to get him so it's going to be a grind i it all ends in 24 days so we have 24 days to get 90 wins or if you guys already have a ton you guys just need a little bit more to get the roberto clemente now the two new diamonds they added were this prime card garrett anderson which isn't honestly crazy but it's pretty nice and then we have a george brad i've never been too fond about a george brad card but hey some people really like them so but yeah guys so that's pretty much it for the new content update on this friday um we got the new roster update new tops now moments new cards in the shop new br rewards honestly it's a pretty solid update sds did their thing um it says right here we get player attribute updates every two weeks so expect roster updates every two weeks, new diamonds, new golds, new silvers, diamonds that you wanted to get my gold, gold, which is crazy. If you guys don't know too much about roster updates, hit me in the comments. I'll, I'll hit you guys back and let you know what's up with roster updates. But yeah, guys, so that's pretty much, that's it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you guys did, and I'll see you guys in the next one. It's been your boy, Jesse D123, and I'm out.